WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. So we're still dealing with some rain chances as we head through the next couple of days. But if I had to look for the sunny side, which to be quite frank, is going to be hard to find. Uh, that's the heaviest rain. The most widespread rain looks to happen in the evening slash overnight hours for the next few days, and that's going to be the case for tomorrow. We're looking at a very low end chance of showers, still dealing with lots of clouds. Wednesday is going to be our best opportunity this work week to see widespread rain, and that actually moves in late evening into the overnight hours. Some lingering for Thursday morning and then clearing for Friday before we look at a whole nother system of uh, bring rain chances in time for your weekend. So here's how we start off your Tuesday morning. Lots of cloud cover numbers in the low 40s, mid 40s at best, closer to the city of Baltimore. We'll see those numbers climb into the low 50s around lunchtime. Some breaks in the clouds trying to happen in extreme southern Maryland, but I think we see a resurgence of the cloud cover heading into the afternoon. We're already starting to see some of those spotty showers north and west of the city. That's going to be the trend for the evening. I can't rule out a stray shower making its way closer to the city, but right now the further north you are, the better opportunity you have to see those raindrops for tomorrow. Heading into Wednesday, we're looking at that cold front try to push its way closer to our area. A warm front lifting through, bringing southerly flow for the first half of the day. All of that cloud cover going to kind of temper down on the temperatures a little bit. Some isolated sprinkles going to be possible earlier on in the day, but we're really going to be watching for this atmospheric river to start to push in as we head into the evening, and that's going to bring us our best chance of showers heading into the start of your Thursday morning. So if you're making plans for Wednesday, I do think there's going to be plenty of dry time. It's going to be gloomy out there. Isolated sprinkles around lunchtime and those rain chances increasing as we head into the evening hours, and then we're watching that front push more moisture our way early Thursday morning. Notice that as we get later into the day, that front actually starts to shift towards the south and east. We start to see some clearing as high pressure tries to build in from the west. So I think our rain chances Thursday are going to be greater earlier on in the day. Eventually that high pressure is going to dominate heading into Friday, which is how we get so much sunshine and temperatures to get to unseasonably warm numbers here. We're talking about getting near 60 degrees on Friday. Some models actually trying to bring us a little bit higher than that. So we'll watch for that. Lots of folks looking to celebrate New Year's Eve that night. It looks dry, but by around 6 a.m., looks like that moisture is starting to trickle in. So we'll have to watch that timing because that could put a damper on some of your plans. Showers lingering through Sunday and on the back side of that cold air filters in. And if that timing continues to line up, we could see some isolated snow showers early Monday morning. All right.